Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on saving and loading variables through local storage in HTML and JavaScript. So, we'll get started by creating a new file, and we'll just call this index.html. And then let's just go and do a main.js as well. Um, so now, I'm just going to do the basic setup. I'm assuming you guys have already uh, uh, got out your game or something like that, got out your loadout already. Um, I'm just going to set up real quick. So, saving and loading. Then we'll also reference our script source and then main.js. Now that we've got everything linked, first thing you want to do is you want to go and create a constant just like that and we'll go, go and call it um, v short for variables so um, we'll just do that and then equals and you just wanted to do the brackets and underneath it I'm, or above it actually I'm just going to type in and, do, on, and say that v equals variables uh, so we just don't get confused uh, for later on in referencing and I'll show you why we do this alright so now what we want to do is say we want to create a variable alright uh, we do uh, variable one, and then we do a semicolon equals uh, ten, something like that. Now we've got uh, a variable stored in there. If you want to create another one, do a comma and then enter, and then you just do variable two or something like that. And you just want to do I don't know, uh, true, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can't end them in these type of semi semicolons. Just leave it blank like that. And um, now if we go live and we just test it, so now if we were to go and type a V and we went in here and then did dot var1, it would have the value of it, so V and that so it can display all of our variables, so we've got var1, variable2, now why do we do this, why can't we just go like let var1 equal like 2 or something like that, why can't we just do that and then save to local storage, I'll show you. Um. First, let's just get down to the saving process. So, we want to go and do, let's create a function called save. Oops, and then so that, and then you want to do uh, local storage.set item brackets. Then you want to type in the name. This name can be anything. I'm just going to call it variables for now. And then you want to go outside of the quotes, put a comma, and then you want to type in the value of the uh, key that you put in. So up here you can see set item and you have the key which is the name so it's like the, when you're declaring a variable you could have a name and a value alright so the name let's just call it variables and then the value would be V alright because that's our uh, array over here. Now when we go here and we go into here and if we were to click save um, actually let's go and wipe local storage clear and now if we went save like that went into application the tab here you can see our variables they're saved as an object and an object now the reason uh, behind this is because you can't go and save uh, this type of loader you have to put it in a string so to do this what we do is we just go set item and then when it has its value here we go in all capitals JSON and our lowercase stringify and you just want to put the variable in brackets there. Now what json.stringify does is if I were to go here and just create a variable, so let high equal two, and I went json.stringify and then high oops <laughs> high, just like that, it would uh, put the value of the variable into a string. So if you have like a true or a false, it would now be a string and what we can then do is, uh, let's go and wipe our local storage, just to make this neater. And let's just reload, and we'll just go and um, save. Now you can see in our local storage, it now has the name, the value as well. So that's pretty cool, that's the how you save it. Um, but now how do we load it? How do we load our variables into it? So we'll create another function called load and we want to do uh, v which is our array over here v equals local 
uh, storage dot get item and you want to do variables or the, just the name that you typed in here so if you did if you typed in here uh, just uh, my var then you would put in here uh, my var just like that so it's as simple as that so you just want to type in the name that you did for the variables for the array pretty much and now we want to do um, yeah we'll check this out so we'll see here our v that's what it equals let's just do v equals uh, um, undefined for now so then you can see oh that's a constant so really quickly I'm just gonna change this to let just so I can prove to you that it loads so we can see in our uh, local storage we have variables here that's saved in our local storage and it has the values of everything now if we look at V here it is saved but I'm just gonna make it undefined so now it doesn't equal oh whoops so now it doesn't equal anything and now if we were to go and do load and I looked at V it now has our variables but it's in a string so how do we fix this easy what we gotta do is we gotta go here V equals JSON dot pass and then you gotta go like that wrap the brackets around it now why don't you just use pass integer well uh, it doesn't really work with it it will just uh, come out as nan or null or undefined whatever so you have to use json.pass it's a little bit different um, now when we go back in here see that's our variables and local storage I'll just quickly make v undefined so then I can prove to you and here's a value of v so then you know and we'll just go and do load and now v has been lo loaded so we got all of our variables so v dot var one equals ten it's as simple as that it's like it's only a couple lines of code if you were to really squeeze it and make it tight it would be only eleven lines of code it's that simple um this is you, you can also add as many variables as you want to this so you could be like um name and you just do new tricks just like that and then when we go here in here and we go and do uh load got v and oh, that's right yeah we haven't saved it so we have to go save and then we'll just go and do v equals undefined and we just go load and then V now has a name. No, it doesn't. Turns out you actually can't use name as a variable because that's already declared. So we'll just go and do uh, in all capitals name. Why not? Now if we go here, save, we can see in our local storage, it also has the name in here as well. So then we just go V, oh, we got a load as well. And then V dot name equals new tricks. So that's it. That's a really simple thing that you can do when it comes to saving and loading variables. You can add as many as you want. Doesn't matter. It will still work. Now the reason you just don't like save every individual variable to local storage is, is because when you have like so many of these variables, imagine having to save and load each one of these individually. With this like simple line of code here, uh, let me just reverse all this. Oh, a simple line of code here you can just simply do it in like two two pretty much two lines just like that you can save and load or uh, like or should I say you can mass save and mass load all your variables all at once simply and it saves a lot of time instead of having to just uh, uh, do for all your variables type in like local storage set item and like var1 here so it'll be like this so var1 v dot var1 and then you have to do that for every single one of them as well so then you'd have to be like this for var2 and could you imagine that with all your variables and you have to repeat that process but then you have to do it with loading that you could just that's just a pain that you wouldn't want to do it trust me now um this method is a lot easier a lot more user friendly and i highly suggest it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash the like if you didn't smash dislike or remember to subscribe as well and i'll see you guys in the next video